Hi, it's Karen, and I am here to just do a quick video about stamping and using our punches that were made to coordinate with the stamps. A day or two ago, I had gotten a message from someone saying that they were having a hard time making their punches line up and having them look good. There's a lot of different ways that people do them, but I will show you what works for me. And I have a hard time seeing anyway, so mine might not come out perfect, but I'll show you what I do. All right, so the stamp set that I'm using is from Stampin' Up! called A Corny Thank You. And I am using this one right here. And for the top, I'm using the polka dot one. I am going to use the Early Espresso Stampin' Pad for my ink on the bottom. And I'm going to use Tangelo Twist for my ink on the top. One of the things that I do like to say is make sure your block is a little bit bigger than your stamp. You don't want your stamp hanging off the edge. It will not come out clean. It will not come out clear. And you'll probably be missing half of your ink. So always use a little bit bigger block than your stamp. Next, I measure my um, huh, I can't even say it. I measure my stamp and then I cut a strip, whatever that measurement is. This one is one and a quarter. I'm going to go a one and a half inch strip. I'm using the Whisper White cardstock. And it'll work also for the hat. If you're trying to stamp using a full sheet of cardstock or a half a sheet of cardstock, you will just get frustrated because you're not going to be able to line your stamp up with the punch. Now, I should have thought of this before I started, but I didn't, that this actually cuts out a whole acorn, but that's all right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to stamp my little bonnet or the hat. I'm doing this um, on top because I do trust myself. Most times you want to ink in the opposite direction. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, I'm going to unlock my stamp because I am still going to um, try to cut the whole acorn so that it's easier to use. So I'm going with, on that, probably a three inch strip and I'm just guesstimating. It might be a little bit big. When you want to do this, you want to have something to hold on to when you have your paper in your punch. You want it to have enough clearing space that you can line it up. If your piece is too big, you're not going to be able to line your stamp up properly. And we do have some stamp sets that are very tricky. I sometimes think they need me on the design team because I would see ahead of time exactly why something wasn't going to work. All right, so I'm going to do this along the bottom edge. And when you stamp, it's just always good to remember, just go straight down and straight up. You never want to wiggle, jiggle, go on an angle. You want to go straight down with your stamp and straight up. All right, so now this is where it gets tricky. I am going to stand because I don't see very well. And you want to just go in there and line that up 
the very best that you can. And sometimes they line up beautifully and sometimes they don't. And there we go. So I have one and I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Now I did that up in the air and I really wanted to show when you stamp or you punch, you punch with it upside down and you have your punch on the table, especially when you're lining things up. And when you have it all lined up, that's how you're supposed to do it. And it's going to punch much more clearly. All right, now I am going to do the acorn tops. And again, you need something to hang on to when you're punching. It's not going to work if you try to do it on a tiny little piece of paper. And again, like I showed you, it's not going to work if you do it on a giant piece of paper. You need to cut your paper into workable pieces. And I'm not steady right now. I'm using my left hand. All right, that's the best that I can do it. And we'll see what happens. All right. Another idea, too, is that you might want to stand up when you do it so you can get right over it and see exactly what you're doing. And that one wasn't perfect, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. People are just going to be shocked when they look at it and say, how did you do that? So um, I shouldn't say shocked, but I see all kinds of expressions from amaze amazed. People will be amazed that you were able to just even do it that way with the two pieces. All right, so now you can see one of them I got a little bit closer to the edge. One of them I got, um, I used an old piece of paper here, so it might have been a little bit more fibery. But in essence, they look identical. They're not any different. And the same thing here. Very simple. And I am going to go ahead and put those together just to show you how they look put together. And again, the reason I did cut the whole thing, um, <clears throat> A, because I had to, B, when you put the top on, that gives a base for you to attach it to. So I'm just going to take my snail adhesive and I'm just going to put a little bit I'm going to line that up, the stem, with the stem, and I have an acorn. Isn't he cute? I'll do the other one again, just in case. Snail. Line up the top. and attach. So you can see by cutting your strips of paper into a manageable size how nice those turn out and I hope that helps for the girl that had asked about punching out stamped images. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and I'd like it if you could subscribe to my channel and thank you for joining me.